Hello everyone and what is going on? My name's Hayden Davidson. In this video, I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on product sourcing using Helium 10 and its features. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Zero fluff, let's dive in. So within the Helium 10 tool, you will see multiple things. So for example, in, for, for this video, I'm going to do two methods. I'm going to do the black box sourcing, then we're going to do some storefront sourcing and just giving you an idea Right, so a lot of these products aren't necessarily the sort of products that I sell, but I'm just giving you an idea of how I would go about doing this process on my specific uh, industry or my specific niche, whatever I want to do. Got some hair going on there. Um, you need to make this relevant for the sort of products that you want to sell, okay? Depending on what sort of PL or wholesale, or whatever you do, okay? There's opportunity all over Amazon. So basics, this is the fundamental basics, right? If you're not really sure about Helium 10, you're not sure how to do it, Let's dive into it. So on the tools on Helium 10, you've got black box here. So I've clicked on black box. There's multiple tools, multiple tools. Um, I've clicked on black box because this is the main one we do our Amazon product research with. Okay, the product research. Some of the other tools are for creating listings and like finding keywords and stuff like that. But in this specific one, we're doing Amazon product research. This is like the best tool that you can use, in my opinion, um, to actually find products if you're going to go down the software route. Okay, and I hope you like my glasses, by the way. Who likes my glasses? <laughs> Let me know if you like my glasses. I had to get them on prescription today. Um, so products, you've got products, you've got keywords, you've got competitors, you've got niche, and you've got product targeting. These are five multiple, there's five ways that we can find products or use opportunities or keywords, opportunities of products to sell on Amazon using Black Box. Um, in this in this example, we're going to do uh, we're actually going to do keywords. Okay, so on the keywords, you've got these multiple uh, multiple ways that you can input the information depending on the desired outcome that you want, depending on the sort of products that you want. Okay, so let's let's just in layman's terms, you want to put in the search volume that you want here. The monthly revenue, the price, the review count, the review ratings, word count, and things like that. Okay, so let me dive into this. Let me give you some examples. Right, the word count. Do you want it to say wedding gifts for him? Right, is that is that the maximum word count you want? Four words. Right, then you'll put four there max. Yeah, and it's not going to show you any other product keywords that are more than four words. <clears throat> now, why would you want to use this? Generally, the longer tail keywords, I find you can be more competitive. You, you can be you can compete more on the longer tail keywords. They tend to be the less searched ones, which means that there tends to be more opportunity on them. OK, that just gives you an example there on the word count. OK, <clears throat> review count. How much, you know, if, if you haven't got much money for PPC and things like that, you may want to put a maximum review count there, depending on how much competition that you want. But obviously, the more competition there is, probably the more volume there is and the more opportunity to sell a lot. So you've got to do that based on what you want. <clears throat> do you want a product that's going to sell a thousand units a month? If so, you know, you're probably going to have to spend a lot on PPC to start with. So that's why these sort of filters help, you know maximum you know do you want to do a, a lower end product which could be a lot in prep fees if you're using a prep center obviously if you're selling a 10 pound item <clears throat> and it's costing you 50p to prep it and you're only making a pound per item you're going to have a big prep fee but if you're selling an item that's 50 pounds or 100 pounds or something like that <clears throat> and it costs you a pound to prep it or two pound to prep it then you know you're not going to spend as much on prep um so depending on the um, the sales that you get you know that could be more lucrative it all depends on the sort of model that you want to go after but what i'm saying is these filters up here are the main filters and you need to input the information there <clears throat> and once you've put the information there let's put review count 200 500 word count four um review rating we're not going to do that at the moment but you could do that and then you know see how many reviews someone has got and if it's a three and a half star product then you can compete because obviously they're doing something wrong <clears throat> Uh, search volume on the keyword let's do 10,000 max uh, monthly revenue let's do 100,000 there uh, max price 50 uh, minimum 50 let's do an example here so let's just search that I'm just going to show you an example of what's going to come up down here um, a 200 plus products found you probably want to get that down a little bit because otherwise you're going to be sifting through loads and loads of products um, and then you want to start having a look for as I say 
any keywords that take your fancy, the sort of products that you want to do, you know, it's opportunity all over Amazon, all over it. So it completely depends. You know, you can see where this is going. You can see how powerful this tool can be. Um, and if you do want to use this tool, by the way, let me know. Uh, there, there is a link that let me know. Well, you can let me know if you want, but there's a link below 50% off. Um, you get 30 day money back guarantee. So you could even try it for 29 days and get a refund if you wanted. Um, so anyway, there's a link 50% off there. I think they, it's actually quite cheap for the Chrome extension. It's like, well, I don't know, 35, 40 dollars or something like that, which in pounds is about 25 pounds. Uh, if you just want the Chrome extension and stuff like that. So yeah, there's starter packs there. Um, anyway, so Easy Yo UK, so Parasol, Spare Pole, Big Poppet. So all of these sort of keywords, a lot of them aren't going to be relevant. So you can get, you can keep typing in the black box um, onto the sort of advanced filters here and then get that down and down and down until you've got like 100 keywords that are relevant to the sort of criteria that you want. And because there's so much opportunity on Amazon, you can actually be quite picky. So that's the first method. Now, the second method I want to dive into is storefront sourcing. So once again, this is a basics tutorial. So it's going to show you the, the you know, I'm showing you the basics here. Um, every product on Amazon, um, this is, oh yeah, um, every, you, you won't usually see this. This is my software I use, Barbot Pro as well. Um, this isn't relevant to uh, the listing, by the way, in case you're not aware. Um, but what you can find on every Amazon listing is the seller, the seller's store there, okay? So another way that you can start to source products is looking at seller stores here. So you can actually click on this store, and this is called reverse store sourcing. Uh, now, some people don't think it's a good thing to do this because they think it's sort of stealing people's ideas. But, hey, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting ideas from people and then innovating it in your own way, doing your own thing. Um, and that's exactly what we sort of do here. So I would click on someone's store from products that I'm interested in in your specific niche. Once again, this isn't the sort of niche that I like. <laughs> But this is just an example. And it will have the brand along the side there. And then it will also have just all of the products. And the products are usually in the order of best sellers when they come down here. The best seller, as you can see, 197 in grocery. That is big. That is selling a lot. Um, and as you can see, that you know that, that's coming up first. And then the higher rank here. So the best products tend to be the first products that come up here. Um, and as you can see here, we've got all of the products in the store here. So what you could do is start to monitor other sellers stores and then get ideas from it. Get ideas. You know, how, how can how can you improve this stuff? You know, or do you want to sell this stuff and reach out to the brands and sell some of the stuff that these people are already selling? Um, contact some of these wholesalers, depending on the strategy you want to do. You know, um, is this the sort of stuff you want to sell? So with these two methods, everyone, you can figure out exactly the sort of you can you can go and find opportunities, figure out the sort of thing that you want to sell um, just with the two methods here. Now, if you have got to this stage in the video, please comment below. Pink rainbow Amazon unicorn seller. I want to do something funny. I want to see how many people are watching this video. Can you comment pink rainbow unicorn Amazon seller? I want to see how many of you have watched to eight minutes, 27 seconds in. Um, and I might do something something quite funny for those that comment. So, yeah, please let me know that. Anyway, I hope that video has helped you. Remember, as I say, if you want to give the Helium 10 go, there is a link below. Um, if not, just shoot to the website. No stress about that. Just supports the channel. Um, but, yeah, that's that's that, that that's in two great ways there, you know. You've got storefront sourcing there, and then you've got black box on there. Um, and, obviously, on the storefront here, you can actually bring up the Chrome extension here. Um, get x-ray up and then you can start looking uh, also the best selling products here but you can start looking at how many are they actually selling I mean wow that first product there is selling 11,086 sales a month that is 210,000 in revenue in the last month them cream eggs have done <laughs> that is ridiculous right uh, everyone I will see you in the next video